There have been countless ways throughout history to reach the ultimate through music. I am going to present and compare two of them, Gregorian chant and Suizen. These practices are used as a means to heighten the religious experience. Though they serve a similar purpose in this way, each one is distinctly different from the other. The simple difference is that of how they are performed. Suizen is practiced by Buddhist monks through the use of bamboo flutes called shakuhachi, while Gregorian chant is practiced by Catholic monks through the art of singing without the accompaniment of any instruments. The complex difference of these two practices comes in when we start to talk of the religious belief. Gregorian chant is used as a way to worship and praise God, whereas Suizen is used as an accompaniment of meditation to attain self-realization and enlightenment. The word Suizen translates to blowing Zen, or blowing meditation, and is the practice of playing the shakuhachi flute. The shakuhachi flute is a five-fold flute made from bamboo. Though the experience of Suizen in relation to Zen is meaningless, the playing of hankyoku occupies an important position in the religious world. Hankyoku are the original pieces or compositions of music that Suizen are based upon. Though they were never written down, they were passed down through generations orally. These pieces were usually played solo as a means to reach a state of mind being the most important element, rather than musical fulfillment. The monks of Japan who practiced Suizen were called Komuso, or monks of nothingness and emptiness. Hence the word Komuso translates into three parts, Ko meaning emptiness, Mu meaning nothingness, and So meaning monk or priest. The Komuso belonged to a Rinzai Buddhist sect called Fukshu, named up for a Tang Dynasty Chinese monk who first used the bamboo flute as a tool for meditation. The Komuso practiced Suizen especially for their own enlightenment, since Buddhism has no sense of devotion to any god. The Hankyoku contains no aspect of praise or worship and is solely used as a tool for the realization of no-self. The Tokugawa family took control of Japan after the suicide of Hadayori Toyomati in the year 1615, giving way to the Edo period, a stretch of peace that lasted for over 250 years. This is referred to as the Golden Age of the Shakuhachi and other Japanese arts, which were supported by the government, building the base for the traditional Japan that we know today. Though this was a great step for the arts, it was a disappointment for many warriors, as weapons and fighting were banned, leaving the samurai masters easily defeated and homeless. During this time, the ronin, which means masterless samurai, joined up with the komuso monks for spiritual focus, as well as a chance to carry a weapon again. That weapon being the shakuhachi flute, which has club-like qualities and can literally be used as one. Since the establishment of the Tokugawa government, membership into the fukushu as a komuso became exclusive to only those with the samurai status, and the shakuhachi was only allowed into the hands of the komuso. These monks traveled throughout Japan, playing the shakuhachi for meditation. They wore large basket-like hats over their heads that completely covered their faces, called tingai, to conceal themselves from the outer world. The komuso were given special passes by the government that allowed them to cross any border they wish. Consequently, these monks were also used as spies for the government. The idea of Zen simply means meditation. This is the spiritual idea of no self and complete concentration. This influenced almost all arts during the Edo period. The samurai already understood the concept of Zen through their training where they were taught to dedicate their whole life to the protection of their master and the ultimate goal being to, come, to become one with the sword, nature, and their opponent as a means to defeat them. After the samurai's sword were outlined by the Tokugawa, the ronin, or masterless samurai, found it easy to join with the komuso because the concentration needed to learn the shakuhachi was very similar to that of learning the samurai way. The most important element of reaching the ultimate through, the, through music by playing the shakuhachi is the understanding of Zen. The komosu lived by the phrase, coming from nowhere, going to nowhere, like the wind. I believe this expresses their understanding of nothingness related to the shakuhachi. They also expressed their understanding of the yin and the yang as an important factor of Suizen. You cannot have one thing without another, and that all things are related and coexist in harmony. Moving away from the philosophy and music of the Eastern world, let's now take a look at the Western world view on the ultimate, 
and how we can reach it through music and their thought tradition in mind. Gregorian chant refers to the chant of the Christian church. This chant is traditionally sung in Latin. This name, Gregorian, was first used by the Franks who adopted the chant from the Romans. The Gregorian is derived from Pope Gregory I, who was the Pope from 540 to 604. And though there is much speculation, he is said to have, to, to have put the repertory of the music into place. The earliest surviving chant books date back only to around the year 900, making it very difficult to figure out the exact history of chant before that. What scholars have learned through studying these chant books is that the Franks copied chant from Byzantine practices as well as Greek and the Mozarbic liturgies, constantly crisscrossing and mixing the lines of communication from the great monastic orders. This is a point of great importance. Also, the Christian church had already been singing for almost 400 years before the time the first chant books were written. Gregorian chant includes a wide range of styles that vary to suit different occasions of the liturgy. The largest part of the Gregorian repertory is used as service music. In a sense, its main purpose is, is to accompany or to be the action of worship without any means of artistic expression. The main function of Gregorian chant is set during the synaxis of Mass, which consists of four main parts. First is the collect, which is a public prayer sung by the priest in honor of all who are present at the time, also called prayer of the day. The second ritual performed is called the epistle. This is a Bible lesson taken from the epistles of Paul in the New Testament, also sung by the priest. The next part of the synaxis is called the gradual. This is the most important musical event of the mass and is a portion of a psalm sung by the choir and is joined with the chant, Alleluia which means, praise the Lord. The last part of the synaxis is called the Gospel. This is a Bible lesson taken from one of the four Gospels. Throughout Mass, there is a dialogue that is referred to as the versical, which is a chant that consists of alternating phrases, one verse for the priest and the second for the congregation. An example of a versical is when the priest would sing, The Lord be with you, and the congregation would respond, and with thy spirit. It is clear that the order of Mass is purely used as a means to worship God. Gregorian chant has characteristics that define how it is to be performed. Those characteristics are that it is strictly vocal music and sung without the accompaniment of any instruments. Chant is to be sung in unison, meaning that all singers use the same melody. This is called monodia. It is sung with a free rhythm that changes to adjust to specific events. Each chant uses one of eight specific modes or scales that define the feeling the chant presents. These modes are recognized as being strictly Christian and perhaps associated with an aspect of the liturgy or the calendar, such as the eight-week cycle of feasts. The melody in Gregorian chant is syllabic, as each syllable of text corresponds to a certain sound that is sung. The language of the chant, again, is in Latin. Another important